Uh, we'll go for a campaign. There is sandbox, and there is like, uh, you can unlock just everything in the sandbox, I suppose, if you want to have a sort of... Like, if you want to replay a campaign mission, but just fuck around in it, then you can go into the sandbox mode, or if you just want to play the entire game, or whatever true sandbox you can enable that which is kind of cool but as you can see very first time playing don't really know a whole, whole lot about it i think it's like a puzzle sort of kind of deal where um i don't even like heists and stuff like that but obviously you know the world being a voxel it's all destructible environments and where i imagine buying slash crafting tools to get in and such as i understand it there's also hidden stuff throughout the maps and you can get like Additional funds that way. <laughs> Walk home. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's my video card at 100%. I don't know why we have the dirty monitor mode enabled, but that's okay. Presumably. It's back there. Oh. Nothing, apparently. I think I want depth of field off because it's really aggressive depth of field. Yeah, I think then. Eh. Jeez. We'll also go every frame vertical sync. That one. Are we okay with like a little bit of head bob? I'm kind of okay with it, but let me know. Okay. Olve, when was the last time you were able to snag first? Been a while. Hold right click to... Ow! Well, hold on then. If I can do that, can I open this? Because this also changed my cursor to that little eyeball looking thing. No. Uh, all right. Never. You never got first. Never ever. It's your first first. Wow. <laughs> Grats. Oh, sure. But this I can just... Uh, it's a little bit heavy. All right. Yeah, fine. Uh, who's on first? What's on second? And I don't know who's on third. And the outfielders, I don't remember. I get it. I'm hip. I'm cool. I'm also old. I got ear hair. You know, that's how old I am. I got hair inside my ears because we feel like that's some sort of evolutionary advancement. I don't know. Okay, hold on. I got a... I got a main menu. I got to turn this depth of field off. This is too much. Too much depth of field. Okay. Right back into it. Part one. Uh, I wanted to grab the bus and rip it towards me. No such luck. Nose hair? Dude, all the time. And I bought a nose hair trimmer even because, like, the nose hairs tickle a lot. And I thought it was causing some of my sneezing fits. Because, like, if I pluck a nose hair, I have a sneezing fit, so I thought, oh, maybe it's just the nose hair's doing it. So I bought a nose hair trimmer, but I'm pretty sure that just made it worse because now I got these really sharp edges of hair that are tickling all the time. It's, it's kind of actually hell. I feel like... I feel like this plant... The plant's blocking it. That's no bueno. Right back. Ah, fuck, and this is a push door? Dude, who made these? 
right back where we left off. This thing is heavier. Oh, almost heavier than a cart. Pick up a sludge, pick up a spray can, pick up a fire extinguisher. Yeah. And an extinguisher. Wow. Wow. Mmm. Rip bitrate, probably, I'd imagine. I'm sure that looks fantastic. It does look nice, though. It's a nice particle effect. Where's that bush at? Oh, I have to come over here. God damn it. Get, get this goddamn door open. Push door, pull door, I never know. Oh. Oops. <coughs> okay. <coughs> All right. So that, that's the thing. Oh, shit. I'm positive that's fine. Well, this main thing don't break though, huh? The metal's too strong. All right. What about inside these boxes? Any fun treats? No. I'll find them. All right. All right, I'll believe you. The demolition sector continues to see a steep drop-off in revenue following a quarter where construction outdid demolition by 437%. The demolition business just isn't what it used to be, says Tracy from Luke Hell Teardown Services. The chemicals in the black finally showed black figures for the last fiscal year. CEO Lawrence Lee Jr. says they have expanded into new markets, but doesn't want to go into further detail. God, this is slow news. Off. Done with the news. You know what? Still better than Frühstück Fernsehen, so that's a plus. Give me eye. New door. It's just like a renovation game. We've got a. Now we have a double door set up. Very nice. Yeah, I thought we could probably do that. Is that a sleeping bag on top of a cot? 
Who does that? Crazy gas bill. Ah, shit. Gas bill just dropped on the floor. Honestly, I'm not sure we can make it through the month. Are you getting any requests? At this point, we pretty much have to accept anything. What is this, my mom? The hell? Be creative. Oh, hugs, mom. Yeah, she, she is my mom. Literally my mother. Okay, mom. This just came in. Sounds kind of fishy, but we need the money. You up for it? From Gordon Wu. Old building problem. Good evening. My name is Gordon Wu, general manager at Evertides Mall. I have a slight problem with an old building that's blocking our plans for a new wing, and I need someone to knock it over. I need it gone by tomorrow if I'd even be willing... And I'd even be willing to pay more than the standard rate for some extra discretion. Quick execution and uncomfortable working hours. Would you be able to take care of it? Some old building? Fantastic. Silver he. Upscale shopping center by the waterfront, managed by Gordon Wu. Also in the area is the Lucal Municipality Folk Museum. Okay. Let's do it. Would I prefer it if it was my uncle as per tradition? I kind of demand it, honestly. Or at least my aunt. <laughs> escape. <laughs> okay. It's all gone wrong. We need to escape. Uh, I'd like to be able to open the back and get my tools. That'd be nice. 5.2 meters. Too tall. Alright, because I want it to be just leveled, huh? Alright. Propane tank explode when thrown. Oh, you don't say. Yeah, yeah. Highly explosive propane tank. Let's rig this sucker up. A little bit dark. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So I think we definitely want one at the chimney. Ah, these fucking chairs. It said quick execution, but, uh, you know. You know me. I'm getting old, you know. I'm slow. These old bones. They don't have the teardown that they used to. can probably just get rid of the entire lower floor, and I'm sure that's fine. Ugh. So how do I throw this? Right mouse button, both buttons, and then... And then left click, or... This is the right building, right? I'm gonna say it is. You can't tell me otherwise. Oh, well, that was shit. Ugh. Extinguisher suck. This one didn't even pop. Oh, 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 fuck. I'm okay. I quickly regenerate. I'm actually the Wolverine. Well, this chimney's a bit of a problem. I can't get through that. 
I need more explosives. There's some more explosives, but I have a better idea. I can just steal these, apparently. I'll be using this thing. Just, just kind of do it. All right. Oh no! I, oh no! <laughs> All right, I need a new one. So be careful with these things. They're a little bit delicate. Please don't break my arm light. Ugh. Also, please don't tip. Fuck. All right, chimney. You're coming down. Just rip it out of here. Not quite. Rip it. Rip it out. It doesn't really rip out at all. But you know what? We can just swing our arm back and forth. That seems to do kind of an all right job. So next up. Uh, yeah, I'm nah. probably just leave it flat. I can mouse wheel to like kind of shove them uh, away a bit or kind of softly throw them that way. That, that's a nice thing to know. I imagine gravity's a thing. Structural integrity and all that. It'd be a little bit silly if it wasn't. Careful. button. <clears throat> uh.
Well, that was... I don't like these extinguisher propane tank things. They're kind of bad. What's... What's holding you up? <laughs> Do we know? Hey, there we go. It's still 2.8 meters too tall, though. Why don't I just, like, drive my car into this thing? Or is the fire spreading? I think the fire is spreading. It seems to be fine, actually. It'll take care of itself. Let's go to the gas station. Maybe they got some stuff for us. We've applied a healthy dot to the thing. Uh, it'll eventually, you know, burn down. Do you get it? Do you get it? Do you get it? Yeah, I think I would need the excavator to get into that. That's stone. Our sludge is too poop for that. Are you winning? Oh, this thing really got, uh, fucked up, huh? I don't want the construction people to get mad that I stole these, so I'll put them back. Can you get through the stone? Not... Uh, not really. Okay. And that sort of broke the arm of the other vehicle that could have done it. And what a... what a piece this thing is. Ooh, the driving's kind of nice, though. Oops. I was hoping to get some speed and, like, you know, really ram in there with the car. vehicle condition. So metal, stone, we can't do much about that, but the rest seems fine. There we go. Get that fire spreading a bit better. Yeah! Still point two meters too tall. There we go. Mission accomplished. Get to the escape vehicle. Well, hold on. This is Dangaris. All right. That's mostly pretty, pretty good. Thank you for letting me borrow your vehicle. It's over here. Man. TY. Thank you. It's 
story. A new high score? One. Well, like the first new high score? Or one point is the new high score? I did it in a whopping 13 minutes, 53 seconds. Speed run, get. I mean, they ask for it, basically. Hey, what's that? Is that mine? New toy, new toy, new toy. Hey, get me out there. I want to see the thing. Fucking brick. I don't know if this is always here. It's got a cool hook on it. Spaces hook and also break. <gasps> oh my god. Can I extend the arm at all? <laughs> it's like a wrecking ball, kinda. Oops. Let go! How about the train? Can I pick up the train? Oh, what? Hold on. That can't be right. Yeah, that's, that's heavy. Oof. Come on. Rip in there. Oh, it's got side doors that I can activate and stuff. Well, how about that train out there, then? Am I okay? Where do I sit in this? Guess it's fine. Wait, and I hooked myself? Would you unhook? Uh oh. Can I have another one? This one's a little bit, uh. It's problematic. Sort of. Oh shit, that's even worse. Thought I could winch myself out. Push. Oh god, it, that's just, this is so much worse. That's fucked. It's actually. I think the engine's destroyed now. Man, I was so close to one day. Wait, although if if you have side doors, I can just open those. It turns out, so you don't you don't even have anything. One day I'll move this damn thing. Personal goals. Oh God, how does that get cleaned up? What about this guy? Minutes after getting my my new cool toy, I hope it comes back and it doesn't just save its position. Although it seems like maybe everything's reset. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be back. And then a push door. Cultural heritage, heritage site destroyed. Perpetrators did a quick job on the old building. And 
investigation has been opened. Uh oh. Lee Chemicals is moving parts of their operation to the West Point Marina. This opens up opportunities in new businesses, business areas where we, together with our partners, can disrupt the market through long-term strategic synergies. That guy talks weird. Huh. Oh, that's just a lift. But there's stairs. I guess you could break all the stairs and stuff. But I could also just break this. What's this? Keep clear. Okay, wiggle it off. Uh. Uh, wiggle boosts. Let's go. If only there was a heavy duty vehicle to move these. Oh, there we go. Ah, get it off the rails. There we go. Just like Rick and Grocery. Whew. It's how you know Usha doesn't exist. There's a shit like that. Uh, where are we going? Monitor. TV. Uh, computer. Even. Investigation. Oh, shit. Uh, what a morning. Shouldn't have taken that job. I knew something wasn't right. That building was under cultural heritage protection and the demolition is now part of a criminal investigation. Mr. Turdeman at the police. A uh, Miss Turdeman at the police just sent me this photo. Shoot. They might have caught you on tra traffic camera heading towards the mall. The very last thing we need right now is an investigation. I tried sweet talking her and she thought she could get the case dropped but asked uh, for a favor in return. I don't know what she wants, but just do it. She'll email you directly. Just so you know, I don't usually do this, but I'm stuck on a case and I feel like I should try something new. I've been investigating Lawrence Lee Jr. over tax evasion for months now, but he has so many friends in town that I can't get a warrant. How about you use your skills to borrow the computers over at Lee Chemicals so I can finally access his customer registry and sort this mess out if you do this for me? I'll make sure your little blunder will be forgotten. Way the across the country. What's this all about? Alright, we'll do it. I can't help but notice we didn't get fucking paid last time. Well, we're doing missions for free now. The Lee computers. Pick up three computers at the site for her. Alright. Just once, I want to be able to open that up and get a thermal drill out of it. Ugh. Go on in. <sighs> map. Hi, map. Escape vehicle. Your position. The office. There it is, it's four meters above. Harbor office, same level. The factory, four meters above. All right. I'm in. What's that? Valuable. A disc cutter worth 60 bucks. Can't seem to deactivate the power. Wait, maybe I can blow it up though. Shit, not that button though. Fuck. Ah. 
No dice. Sick parkour over here. Yoink. Fifty Shades of Capitalism by Kirsten Strawback. Worth 40 bucks. I got the computer. Paper jam. Push or pull, come on, make up your mind. So don't you write something about the attic? I kind of missed it though. My finger twitched. What's up there? Hmm? What is it? I'm making a staircase. Let's go. Tax deductible, uh, tax deductible pension fund worth a whole 400 bucks. Wah, it's very dark up here. Oh, there we go. There's a little more light. Ow. Man, would you jump? Oh, Jesus. Was that? Seems okay. Map. Tab. This is the wrong building. Harper office is back behind us. Maybe there's cool valuables in here though? A bottle of golf, golf, golf Mira worth 20 bucks? I don't know, is that a drink? <laughs> Wrench. <laughs> there seems to be some form of concept of leverage in this, though, which is kind of neat. I like that. A big windstorm came through. Is that the harbor office? No. That the harbor office. Yeah. It's right there. We'll follow the power lines across. Maybe not. That's a no. Got it. Why are there so many empty crates? One of these crates is going to have a valuable in it at some point, right? Fuck I.
I'm in. There's nothing in here. Oh. Ew. What? What broke that open? <laughs> I could just throw things around to break them? Well, my sledge can't break it. Huh. Nice. A little bit of impact damage. I like that. Alright, I thought there'd be something in there because it seemed like a pretty closed off building. <sighs> so typical. I don't, I don't want to talk about it. There's a back room to that? I thought that was just the back door that was closed off. Back. Well, uh... I'll have to find a different way in, I think. what it is but I'm gonna pop it with the hammer like this this could be a good way in assuming I don't just flip the moment I touch a building again excuse me A tile cutter, 80 bucks. Yo, we're gonna be rich. All right, there wasn't a whole, whole lot in here, really. But hey, 80 bucks. Trying to be very clever here. Is it working? I'll just take the stairs. It's fine. Nothing in here either. Blast! It's okay. There doesn't have to be something in every building. Although, saying that, there is something in this one. It's a titanium screwdriver. Bits box. Nice. I flinch every time I throw it. And you should too. I didn't actually want to go down here. 
Help! I'm stuck. Um. Ah, I'm out. Whew. Whew. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's get far away from here. Where was the factory? Around the corner, I think, right? Yeah. Quick save. Doing this Iron Man style. Iron Man teardown challenges. What is that over there? Uh. All right, I wasn't really expecting a whole lot. This, this thing is adorable. Can I have one? Can I learn how to drive it, maybe? It's harder than it looks, okay? I swear. I promise you. I just want to see if I can safely detonate these massive red gas containers here. I don't know. Maybe I can. Oh wait, there's explosives there. We should use those. Let's just use those. But also maybe get up here and, and do this before we completely fuck ourselves out of everything. Gentle. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. I thought they chain react a little bit, but that's fine. <gasps> I have a flashlight. Yo, did you notice? I have a flashlight. I didn't know. It's a little bit, a little bit bright though. Hello, Jack. Drive it. I'm very strong. Did 
That's just outside. Okay, I think that's a job well done. Let's exfiltrate. They'll never know I was here. See? Don't know anything about it. Oh, hey, there's another one here. Did I know that was there? I don't think I knew that was there. Get me out of here! New high score three, apparently. Mm. Because I did all three objectives, maybe? Hit and run. No fun for Lee Sun. There's been a break-in at the Lee Chemicals. The perpetrator caused property, the MAGA, and Managid to get away with the electronic equipment. CEO Lawrence Lee Jr. says they will upgrade security and should be up and running again soon. Well, I'm happy for him. I can't pick up something while I'm on it. Did we get any new fun toys? No, but I can try to get across the bridge again with this. This time for sure. I've also got 840 bucks that we can use for, uh, presumably purchasing some equipment. Oops. Yeah! Okay, slow down! Jesus! Ugh. Well... We got it out. I can die happy now, I guess. It almost killed us in the process. No, 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 no. Hook onto that. Uh, help! I couldn't stop! Pull me! Pull me up! Oh shit. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. Alright. Next time, I got plans. What's uh, what's the story with this? Not sure. OSHA compliant for sure? Well, obviously. Come on. I saw I could... 
We did it at the other... Whoa, shit. We did it at the other place. We, like, pulled the wire and yoinked it out. Yeah, kind of like that. Man, vehicles really fall apart quick in this. Okay. Ooh, a new vehicle, I think. Maybe this is Overseer. I don't know. This might have always been there. Let it shove a little bit better than that. <clears throat> Did you know that in the past, the English alphabet only had 25 letters? Nobody knew why. Uh, thanks for that. Login devices. Customer registry indicates that Lee has worked almost exclusively with a single client recently. Client is referred to as BT and no further details. That's Black Temple. So I really have to bother you with one more favor. Head back. Fetch their employee login devices. Should be able to cross-reference their log files with the delivery schedule to figure out where they are moving the product and what BT means. I heard they installed a new security system. Be careful. All right, yeah, sure. Login devices. No upgrades available. What? Okay. Alarm system. Security arrives 60 seconds after alarm is triggered. Make sure to plan ahead. Terrifying. Okay. Gotta get in a different way then, I guess. <laughs> God damn it, I'm good. Where is, uh... Oh, this is this building. Factory North, Storage, Factory West. Whoops. Use quick save before triggering alarm to avoid starting over from scratch in case you fail. Ugh, fine. Right, so wait, I have 60 seconds to do all three in GTFO? Wow. Alright, yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha. Hmm. Well, let's, uh, how deep you reckon this is? Can probably use that truck as a makeshift bridge to get across quicker. Oh, I was also kind of expecting cameras. I assume that's why I have the spray can. So I could just like spray the cameras. Um, here. Works pretty well. Uh, help. Yeah. Guess I'll leave that down just in case. Um. 
Bridge. Kinda. It's not much further than this, but it saves me from having to, well, I could just break that, I guess, and, like, probably just jump for it and swim. I probably don't even need to do that, like, at all. Oops. Oh, shit. This is surprisingly fragile. Um... Well, if at first you don't succeed... Throw more things at it. That's what I say. Oh, that stops immediately. Okay, all right. There. Ah, shit, all right. There we go, we can kind of parkour around. Throwing shit into it until eventually it uh, works. That's fine. Right. Um. Storage five meters above, huh? You know, like, you kind of do a little hop up sometimes, but really just sometimes. Alright, I don't know what your problem is, but you're so in the way. There's, there's the other one. So we can grab those two kinda easy. I guess that's a nice like, bridge across too. And then there's already kind of a bridge across the buildings. Over there. Yeah. Man, is that ever in the way? do you bring me? Mm -hmm. ah. Could probably jump over to these boxes. I have to get a little running start to jump, otherwise I do this weird little hop. Okay, I would need to give myself a bit of a ladder. So, uh... 
Yeah, and then we figure out our little parkour bridge thing to get over to that building. Which... Really just a little parkour thing. And then up some stairs. Alternatively... Because it seems like security is actually pretty lame here. So we can do that. And then we run across. Play this terrible mini game. <sighs> Grab that and... Then run out and around? Nah, probably not. Probably back out the window where we came from and, uh... Across. Grab that, then back out, around. Ugh. If I was a professional, I could probably just chunk, chunk, chunk right up and in like a little spider. Do I feel professional? Maybe a little. Bigger. vehicle thing they had here is gone. Hmm. Yeah, that would work. Oop. If I don't break it completely. Well, Kim, here, friend. And then I missed the jump and break my legs. What about this? Well, I don't think smashing really helps me much here is the thing. Well, that, that plan's fucked now. I went the wrong way with it. I thought maybe I could, like, jump onto the arm and up, but, uh... Well, that's a fun little ramp down. Yeah! <laughs> oh, shit. Alright. Change of plan. We need a new way in. This thing's really billowing out the smoke. Is that all right? I can't help but notice it's also like going on daytime. <laughs> they come to work soon. 
I'm a little nervous about this whole thing. Oh my god, okay, if I'm careful with it... If I'm careful with it, it works. Before I mess with it more, you can grab the thing and then out. I don't know, and just run across out the gate, presumably. Let's try it. What's the worst that could happen? I guess I could also hook up a vehicle onto this thing and only lower it so much so it's like kind of floating as a bridge. That, that would maybe work a little bit better than the mess that I've got over there. Uh, maybe. Maybe we go for that. Ooh. Then back out <clears throat> along this. Oh my god, those sirens are really picking up, huh? Fuck. Alternative way in. Run! I hope this is unlocked. I never checked. Shit. Fuck. Uh, they'll never find me in the dumpster. Balls. Okay. Quick load. It's fine. You know what? Somehow that all almost worked. So we gotta get something for the gate over here. Probably just a box and just jump the gate. Keep it simple. Maybe a, maybe a couple boxes. Uh, do we even have our bridge anymore, actually? Yeah, no, we have like nothing currently. Okay. But... God, but this thing calm down. Relax. Don't, don't, don't do that. Relax. Calm down. Nobody's, nobody's doing anything with you. Chill, bro. Chill. Do not break my arm. All right. Okay. Wow, that is... That is... stuck there now.
How much of this can we shove in, or will it just shatter immediately? It just shatters immediately. Alright. Alright, done. Yeah, so there's one part of our bridge. And the second part of our bridge. Pretty sturdy, I think. And then we reset this up because I think this worked out pretty okay, actually. They just gotta tuck underneath that uh, that beam there. And I don't think I can get the uh, the long arm thing over there. Out this way. And just break that. I don't think we have any objects to throw at it that'll do the job. Are you explosive? You look like a propane tank. That's a no. Okay. So I'll run across, grab that, and then we just do this one. Easy peasy simple, because we got plenty of time. Just don't want to break. Don't want to break the shipping container. Those the thing. How in the way is it really? It's not that in the way. I think. Okay. We could run up that whole thing if we end up dunking. Uh, getting back over is annoying. So it's a one-way trip, that. And then our way out, is this even enough? Ha! Ah, it totally is. Nice. Okay, take two. We'll quick save this time because I feel like there's not as much destruction to everything ever. Unlike before. Before it's like, I kind of destroyed so much stuff getting things set up. Yeah. I think we'll have like 18 seconds left after this too. Take that tree. Oh no. Ugh. What'd I say? 18 seconds. 18.4. Yeah, fine. We did it. Oh, and it's drawing the route for us, too, which is cool. That's neat. The only change I would give to this is changing the color of the line based on, like, altitude.
<laughs> it's fine. Ignore that. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Inspired you to buy this? It's good so far. And uh, I think it was only like 10 bucks. Reached a new rank. A new tool's been delivered. Oh, snap. What is that? Blowtorch. <gasps> it just deletes blocks. Oh my god. I'm the thermal drill. Outstanding. Oh, it's empty. <clears throat> Can I carve lobster men with this? Maybe not, because it doesn't have infinite fuel. Smash and grab this weekend. Several buildings were damaged, and a number of devices from the entry security system were stolen. The police says the break-in might be related to the event last week when computers were stolen. That's not my destruction. Somebody else went in after me and, like, fucked it up more. Need coffee. They turned off the gas. I can't even make proper coffee anymore. We really need to bring in more clients. I'll reach out to Gordon and see if he has something. How much money is gas? I got 840 bucks. Ugh, Mom. Haven't heard back from the police. That thing sorted? Mom, I have no idea. Hundred bucks for more fuel. And that's it. I guess I'll get ten more fuel. Forty seconds worth of fuel. That seems pretty all right. Gordon Wu, Marina, too small. Thanks for helping me out with that building. The police were snooping around a little, but it seems to have cooled off now, and we can finally start construction. I actually have another job for you. See, I bought this yacht recently, but it's too large for the marina, and the board says there's no space for a new dock. Could you use your demolition skills again and remove one of the timeshare cabins? If the original documentation also disappeared, then ta-da, like it was never there. Okay. Hello, Lithriandrel. Score one score because uh, I've done six objectives worth of things there, I guess. It's like, yeah, that's just the one. All right, to the marina. Demolish the uttermost cabin, destroy proof of ownership by dumping safes into the ocean. Nice. I bet the safes are too heavy for me to pick up, though, so I got to use some sort of a vehicle or tool to do it. Oh, the grub. I'm sorry. Gub grill. Yoink. Took the register itself. And some night sunglasses for 15 bucks. Well, look at us go. Where's, uh... Oh. Okay. I see. Security fire alarm. Large fires will trigger it. Hmm. Yoink. I need these things, you understand. Antique pirate sword was hidden by... I just wanted to break the mirror because it was ugly, but hey, antique pirate sword is behind it. Not this time, though. 
Okay. I like the driving in this. It's a little bit loose, but not like so insane. Right, because I'm thinking we can use this to get the safes out into the ocean or something. What was in this building? Why are we in it? What's here? The safe up above. Oh wow, way across the way. Okay. Beneath the stairs. Oh yeah. Ha <laughs> ha! Antique pirate hook. My loot sense was tingling. Yeah, boy, antique pirate dagger. It's where I would hide stuff. Oh, okay. Uh, Get you downstairs first. Figure out the less rest later. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Come on. Drag it along. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jesus. Cram it here, big boy. But, like, only sometimes, from some angles. <sighs> I was hoping you'd kind of carve your own path a little bit once I got you going. Would you? Are you kidding me? All right, lift your ass. Let's go. Oopsie daisy. Man, do I need a winch. Okay, change of plan. We need to get rid of that stone.
please. Let's go. Ah, there we go. Where'd all that strength come from? All right. Try not to break the dock. Like that. Yeah, fucking hell. Oh, I can't swim a little. little. Let's just scoop you up then. There. Oh, that's a little bit precarious. There is another safe somewhere out here, I think it was. Jesus. Not really sure how this thing is still working, but it is. Safety first, you understand. That's a big safe. Um... It's not that heavy. What are you? Just some stupid boat thing. I saw that. to save there wonder if I can use these things here to help roll it along since I kind of worked there for the boat bit. move just get back Kinda. It's gonna break them when it falls, right? Or... Roll oddly. Don't try this at home! Yeah, okay. Just broke it completely. But can I maybe... It doesn't lift, but it does slide. It slides kind of alright. We can slide it. We can't slide it. Everyone needs a hobby? Well. Okay. I have hobbies.
Is that the boat's name? Everyone needs a hobby. That's a strange boat name. Uh, you think she's seaworthy? Will it float? That's the question. Everything's so goddamn heavy in this game. No. No, it does not. I just want to dump this loader real quick. Clutter out the back. Maybe we can get this on and just drive it into the ocean then. Mm, Brakes. <sighs> <laughs> Easy. We just, um, I have an idea. It's a terrible idea, but it's an idea. a bit steep. Maybe. Yeti, this will not work. I know, but hold on, let me try, damn it. them from sliding out from underneath. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's a massive forklift! Yes! It's one of the terrifying ones, too. We had people practice uh, getting fucking toilet paper and paper towel pallets up to the top shelves with these things. Because they're, like, really scary to you. It was, like, just the little hand one, though, not the ones that you drive. The ones that you drive, you have to be, like, forklift certified for and stuff. That's... That's too much work. Ooh, this thing reverses so good. Make sure we're all the way down here. Just please don't break the forks. Ugh. <sighs> 
Man, sometimes you get the corner of it and it's just like, I'm ready to go. Other times, other times it completely refuses. Yeah. I don't think that's good enough. <sighs> Maybe, I mean, that lip is over. Just got to drive around with it. Okay. Um. Shit. Love how this the fork is so low it's just tearing up the pavement. Alright, this car thing, you gotta you gotta skedaddle. You can't be here. Clearly that's the problem. Nope, 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 not this way. Man, it was like on the rubble and everything, it was moving so good. Why is it bouncing? <laughs> ah. It's wedged. Okay. Uh. Idea. Fuck. That's not the idea. Yeah! <laughs> yes! Whew, okay. Outermost cabin. We're doing something to that. Um, we got explosives to load up onto a boat while we're heading over there, or...? How'd that even work out? Look, don't ask too many questions, okay? It worked. That's what matters. That's not even a powered boat. And that thing's... This is hardly seaworthy anymore. Let's get a new boat. Actually, let's just not be over here anymore, in fact. Seem to be towing something. That idea won't work. Actually, will it? It might work. Hold on. I have an idea. Everybody get ready for this. Or maybe don't. Oh, that's my escape. Dun, dun. Ooh, 
do. I hope I have a heart hat on. Crouch while swimming. Neat. I wasn't expecting it to tip over so quickly. Um. All right, though. Drive into it a few times with the boat. Get some ramming speed. Go! Okay, uh, yeah! All right. So it almost, I wasn't expecting it to tip over like that so quickly, but it damn near worked. Storm blew through. What a shame. Twenty-three minutes that took. Really? That's bullshit. No way. It's not counting right. What the? Was that? Oh. They got a cool vault. Tool. That's a very heavy ladder. A shotgun? <laughs> what? What? Why do I have a shotgun? <laughs> According to heart, we searched through all available records, but no proof of a fifth cabin could be found. Without evidence, the rumors still persist of a ghost cabin. Next week, art or remnants? from the afterlife. Why do I have a shotgun? Rounds, range, damage. Okay, I'll take more ammo. I got a bunch of money from that mission. I'll upgrade the range to a bit and the damage to max. Cool. Fantastic work at the marina. Looks like it worked because they cleared a construction permit for the new dock. Another thing came up. There was this classy car auction up in the Black River the other day, and one guy just kept overbidding me. Lawrence Lee Jr., that youngster who inherited the chemical plant a few years ago. Absolutely no interest in cars. He's just looking for ways to rotate his dirty money. It's a Gauss Zeidel B50. 
the one they used in Seal the DL2 with Colonel Wilson's personal Jacoby from Normandy. Those are some words. Put these cars on a ship overseas any day now and they'll be out of the country for good. If that's not criminal, I don't know what it is. Okay. Take care of them. By getting them for him, not destroying them. Oh, okay. Also, some spare parts and vehicle registration is optional. I can do that. What, they just airdrop me or something? Oh, I see. It's an automatic gate. For vehicles, though, I presume. <laughs> hey! Delicate blow torching. Don't need that anymore. Although that'd make a great ramp. Because I'm afraid of that door just slowly cutting its way through this, destroying it. Though it looks like the door is maybe destroying itself. Takes it a minute sometimes. We'll leave that there just in case. Oh! Ha! And I can pause it. It's a ramp! Fantastic. I can see what I can do about that. Uh, what's the map looking like? What do we got? Car and warehouse, way over there. And on the ship. Right. That looks like it's alarmed. Oh. Okay. Should probably get the documents first. Take the register again. Ugh. They never replaced it. Stairs. Yeah. Ah. Right. Okay. Um. That's not going to break the wire, though. But it is going to be hanging nicely, so I can grab it from down below. Just yoink. Just 
Grab and go. We can take the boat then. To go across the way. To grab spare parts in the warehouse. And then that car. Drive it out of here. We'll probably take this boat. This boat works, right? Yeah, it does. All right. God damn, this boat works. Okay. And we can, I think, just smash the boat into parking. Don't think we have to get too clever with that. Wasn't expecting that. So we can just drive this over and pretty much just like park it at our truck already then. We just have to get it off the truck with some form of haste. Some light concept of weight in this and gravity. But now that's just kind of dangling for me to, to snatch. some extent and then we gotta see about driving you carefully though Be good.
That's why I'm taking it slow. You can just lower the bed. Ain't that convenient. Sure is, Yeti. So I don't even need to forklift it off there. Uh, so that just like, zoom right on in, easy peasy. And then the other guy we got to get from the boat, which I th think might be like properly connected in. that premium spark plugs yo and an aluminium propeller Can we just drive this whole thing? Makes it extremely convenient. What a lunker this thing is though, oh my god. Can you shoot alarms? I have no idea. I would assume that's a good way to get things kicked off. Damaging the alarm triggers it. Oh, there you go. All right. That'd be too easy if you could just disable the alarm. Drives like shit. Yeah, Yeti. This is what drives bad. Help, I'm stuck. There is an exploit where you can cut off a piece of the car connected to the alarm wire to bypass it. Oh, That don't seem right. And I wish I could, uh... extend my arm. That's not going to work, because as, as I lift it, the weight of the car is probably going to... Uh, probably going to sever it, right? It's 
Just hoping I can get it a little bit closer to me. So we can grab it proper. There we go. Whoa. Easy. Slow. This might be something to play with on a controller. Pivot around. Slowly. Yeah. Yeah. Whew. My ass is getting a workout today. Oops. <sighs> yeah, let's not park there. I can kind of make it around. I mean, this is in the way now. But I think we're ready to get this kicked off. I think. <clears throat> Barring any unforeseen consequences. it again. Ah! Kind of. Sort of. It was cooler in my head. I don't have a getaway vehicle over here. We're way too slow. I, I forgot this aspect of it. Just run faster. I'm holding shift as if it does anything. Uh. Let's go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this turns really fucking well. Uh, that's one. I don't actually have to get it in. Okay, good to know. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we're going to pull... I guess you. We're reversing, so it should be kinda alright. You're... you're my getaway vehicle on this... on this final leg. There's probably other cars on the map, yeah, but like... I think it's okay. The alarm's already going, and this looks like it's a moderately kind of quick vehicle. It's got edges to it, so it goes fast. Yeah, it just make a, a huge mess on the way, though. So that's... Grab it and then reverse through and easy peasy straight through, no problem. Put that out of the way. Okay. 
Uh, is this old boat still here? E. Come here, you. Bring me back to the start. save. <laughs> that was a little better. Rip that out. Why do they turn so wild sometimes? Plus. <laughs> They'll never catch me. I'm innocent. Nailed it. With five seconds to spare. It's fun setting up your own uh, escape route and stuff like that. You can be as destructive as you want with it. I like it. <laughs> the tire streaks are still there. <laughs> neat. Now what? Alright. We got any explosives to get some fire going? Or can I maybe blow a torch and start my own fire? Yeah, okay. This isn't how you harvest corn. What do you know, huh? Smart ass. I'm from the Midwest, America. Corn's all I know. So like, not like that then. This is, this is how we made popcorn back in the good old days. Uh, right off the field fresh. Feel like it don't burn though. It's it's too fresh. It's been too rainy lately. That can happen sometimes. Maybe. No. <laughs> Oop. Oh. 
I do very much enjoy how there's some sort of fire mechanic going on, though. I like this very much. It's just another thing to play around with. It's a nice looking fire. It's a very particularly yet yeah, detailed fire. And it just slowly melts away into nothing. Very nice. Some stuff doesn't seem to want to catch. Amen. Enjoy. I am going to take a quick break. Let me make sure we get a little bit more going, just in case it wants to be a bit lame about it. Okay. <laughs> Oosh. All right, I'll be right back. Give me like four minutes, a little bit of water, a little bit of coffee. Check on the cat, who should be outside, but with all the noise, probably once inside. And, uh, you guys can just kind of watch the fire do its thing. Hopefully it's exciting. Yeah. BRB. back. <laughs> Damn, that really, uh, <laughs> it really worked its way around, didn't it? It's starting to take the roof now. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. It even kind of, oops, shit. It even kind of damaged bits of the beam here. Ooh. Watch out. Damn. I bet I have to, uh, I might have to time lapse that. <laughs> Welcome back, Mr. Liar. That was four minutes and 30 seconds. Ah, shit, I'm sorry. 30, 30 more seconds, you... 
You were you've earned it. Did I say five minutes or four minutes? I think five minutes. I can give you thirty more seconds though. That's okay. I greatly appreciate how it like doesn't just take over as a a wave per se. It's taking like a weird pattern through it. So you get bits and pieces that are falling then too. It's really cool. I wonder how long they spent getting the sort of fire ugh, propagation or so going. Damn. Not really demolition, but you don't know me, but I've had a series of break-ins recently. And the last one, I lost two very rare classic cars and guess what? I know who did it. Gordon Wu, that absolute prick, is now bragging to everyone at the club about his two new fave possessions. The break... <laughs> the break-ins cost me to have a lot of property damage, and I like to let Gordon, Gordon taste some of his own medicine. Since you're in the demolition industry, I thought, well, I don't know if you do this sort of work, but let me know if it sounds interesting. Uh, yeah, sure, the car wash. Been up all night digging through logging devices, managed to find a connection to the West Point Marina. Haven't been able to figure out more on the BT, but Lee has a warehouse in West Point. I guess whatever fishy business he's up to, the marina is not the final destination. Oh, GPS devices can give me an idea where he's moving the product, especially if I could compare the recent destinations to the shipping log. Can you get them for me? Uh, let's do this in first, though. That sounds fine. The car wash. Oh, are there any more tool upgrades, by the way? Not really. All right. Uh... Yeah, the car wash. There's a lot of objectives in this one. Harfley! Uh, kind of okay. Sort of. Hanging in there. Day by day. Dump at least three of Gordon's expensive cars in the water. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> okay. So it did kill me, but it doesn't take you out of the UI. <laughs> That's fun. This is the first proper mission? Awesome. Eh, fire's still going. <laughs> Alright. Let's do it. The car wash. Hello, Crunchy Storm. How it goes? All right. That's a nice place. Wow. Fire alarm, wired alarm boxes. Breaking an alarm box or wire triggers the alarm. The main garage. Gallery pool, workshop garage. I gotta dump at least three of these in the water? I mean, this one's easy enough. That one's connected up to a vehicle. This one may be as well in the winter garden. We can dump all of them, though, as an optional objective. All right, let's get in there and see what we're messing with. This is pond count. If they just like touch the pond, is that a is that a big water dump?
Wee wee wee. Oh, the door. The door's open. Sorry. <laughs> uh. Yeah. All right. I thought I would check. The more you dump, the more points you get towards your next tool unlock. All right, I'm going to dump so big. Going to get that next tool. Don't forget bingo night, something, something. Hey, valuable. A wallet. Or a wallet. Man, driving on grass sucks. Well, no, I need that to be up, but I can't really climb up that, I think. That I might be able to. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing things and seeing what happens. can kind of jump spam up it. Damn, this place is like so swish. Ah. Yeah, I chipped the wall with glass. <laughs> Take that. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Shit. Okay. I put you on the stones, it gives me a little bit of a boost. Or. <laughs> Lodged. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Help. Just chipping away at the wall, as you do. You know what? I think I love Teardown too. This has been really nice thus far. Not like terribly challenging or anything. Like if you're if you plan a, you know, the escape out and everything. Like it's it's usually fine. It gives you plenty of tools to get the job done. At least so far. I don't know. Maybe that changes in the future. Maybe some of these missions just get to be like. Kind of insane. So you're... You're definitely bolted in there.
This is not sandbox that I'm in, no, I'm in the missions, but we're just in the... the pre-start planning phase. I'd like to think that later missions, you maybe don't get quite so much freedom. Because you can be, like, really methodical with it if you, uh, need to. Or rather, if you want to. So where's... <laughs> Where's water for you to be dumped into? <laughs> Take that, dolphin! The objective is to dunk some, some cars, at least three, but there's six cars. And as soon as I take one, yeah, the timer's gonna start. And I have, I think, just always a minute to get the job done then. So I think we want to... All right. I have the sludge hammer, obviously. The spray can extinguisher, blowtorch, and shotgun, which I've yet to, like, really actually use. I'm not really sure what to make of it. <laughs> it has a damage number, so I'm thinking, like, if I upgrade it enough, it can break, like, stone? Um, well, I mean, there that's, that's a way out. We'd like to clean it up a little bit, though. Jeez. What a mess. I'm also such a simulator nerd that I get a kick out of, like, using this heavy machinery to, like, pick up and manipulate the world with it and all that. I love that stuff. I don't know why. I'm a freak. Oh, now you open, you bitch. Alright, it's just, like, locked to a vehicle, though. This thing. Alright. Since I know you open. Crap bastard thing. Hold on, close again. I'm tearing up the pavement with this. Uh, can you close? Is there... Is there too much crap in the way now? Ah, jeez. Alright, but I think I could probably just do... Or are you connected to, like, the whole floor mechanism here, maybe? That might be. Yeah, I think it's connected to the whole floor mechanism. Alright. How about... What you think about that? Yeah! Freedom! Shit like that I love. So nice. Haha! Ah. -ha. <laughs> now we just have to get rid of... Get rid of this crap. Gosh. This vehicle's kind of super fucked, so we're going to leave that. And our little arm is basically totally destroyed. Did we have a crane somewhere? Probably somewhere there's a crane.
I found a use for the shotgun. Oh no, my arm! There is a map, yeah. It's a really nice map, too. Gives you the layout of the objectives and everything. Alright, so that's the end of that. This is still a bit too heavy to slide. Let's get down the hill. And then van. Jesus, the smoke! Alright. This van's fucked, too. So that's that. Um, we got a way out, though! Yeah. Could even use this as a ramp. Could be kind of fun. Should we try it out? What could go wrong? So we got a way up for no particular reason. Um, there's this guy, which logically we would drive through the doors here, but the metal I can't can't break that. Can I like? Over open the doors through the glass, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Doesn't really help me too much. I mean, because so we could drive this then out this way. Spring loaded. Wah, wah, shift into ninth gear. Brr. Uh, across the pond, I guess. We could try to get out through this. Does this burn, by the way? Like, actually burn? Like, fire hot burn? It's stone or something, then. Hey! Shotgun! Okay. Dunking it in any water counts? I was kidding when I said that. Is that... That actually works, though? Is it like... I'm sure the car will be fine. Even better, let's just park these outside and wait for it to rain. Yeah. I guess we can we can do a quick test, we can quick save and find out. Does it still count as a vehicle if it's missing more than 50% of it? 
Uh, it's still an engine connected to wheels, like, yeah, it's... Let's go! Oh my god! Alright, well that counts. Holy shit. These things go. I'm pretty sure I can't take the alarm with me. Yeah, nah. Okay. <laughs> just, just rolling that out, too. That's fine. Alright. So, yeah, we can do that. They don't have to all go into, uh, like, the ocean. So this guy into the pool is a real quick and easy. That's nice. Um, there was a couple that are, I think, on like a truck or a truck bed or something that I can maybe. Oh, you are the vehicle. So I was too close. I thought it was like a like a flat thing with a like a big rock on it or so. All right, you. It's a pretty heavy box. Hmm. Okay, well, um, I would just take the door off, but you know, it's sort of alarmed. For some reason, that's a weird setup they've got there. Bring the pool to it. Oh, yeah, here's one that I can probably move into a convenient spot. This water is accessible, but is that... Depending how we're doing this, it'd be cool to get all six, but I feel like this is going to require a bunch of planning. Um, I wonder if I could get the guest house garage and also pit stop into this pool on my right. Cars and bars. All right. Coffee machine. Oh, food processor. Eighty bucks. Didn't really do a whole lot for me. <laughs> oh shit! There's a, there's a cliff there. Right. Okay. That's. What is this? What? Oh, I see. Jeez, the bed's in the way, too. Alright. 
that'll that'll solve itself in a moment. Oh right, the fire alarm. Forgot there was a fire alarm. Controlled burn then. Yeah, fine. Wow, that bed's on fire. Woo! Help it out a little. Relax over there. Calm down. Jesus. Extinguish. Well. Eh. I don't. Is this the bed frame? Or the the headboard, maybe? Working those angles. All right, you think it can get through that? Boy, I would hope so. Because you can pretty much just reverse your way into this water then, and then that's... <laughs> That's that. I mean, we're tearing down this dude's entire house. I bet right behind this door is like another uh, fucking water to dunk it into. And like all that was just totally unnecessary. That'd be 100% a Yeti move. I mean, kind of, but the thing is I can't really dive out of the vehicle. But yeah, kind of, sort of. I tried, I tried that with the post back a little bit. If you, like, keep the piece of wall that the alarm is attached to intact, it still, uh, still goes off. Because it's lost a connection to... I don't know. Rare protected hardwood. Oh, what are we attached to here? Oh, the grill thing. <clears throat> Whoops. All right, come along then. Ugh. All right, whatever. There, yeah, there's a little more here. Can I... Fluid physics. I am thinking I might have to just, like, dunk this and then run over to this guy and dunk him. But then... then what do I do? It's a lot of running around. I keep, like, 
destroying slash getting my vehicles stuck completely. <laughs> Complicates everything. There's a couple cars. If I keep these cars intact, because I need to, I need to park a car at a dump site so that I can just drive to the next car quickly. Because I don't have that much time. Because like we can dunk this guy. I think I'd really prefer the pool rather than the ocean. Of course, the garage door is automatic too, motherfucker. Uh, dump that into this, and then we get into this vehicle, and we can drive over ugh, to that guy, which I'll bring you up to. Oh, actually, I suppose I could just, like, quickly dump this... Dump this too. Because I'm paranoid about gravity pulling the car out from its uh, connection. You're going into that pond. So I think I'll have you up with the pool over here then too. Hey, how you doing, Toothless Shark? Welcome, welcome. How goes? Okay. So one, vroom, right in. It'll totally go so smooth like that. And then two, brrr, and then we drive this guy. One. Mm. Mm. Ah, circles. One. <laughs> and then this guy's two. That kind of works, sort of. Lol. And then we take off this away. Totally through these rocks. <laughs> I'm telling them exactly how I did it. Ha 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 ha. 
<laughs> uh, you're just going straight out, I think, still. Let's go for a quick save, just because it's been a minute. I think you're the last one to dunk in the water because I don't really have anything else going on over here. And my escape vehicle's over here. Oh yeah, there is another car still at- whoops, isn't there? I don't know why I thought there was five cars. Um, pit stop? So in the pit stop we got, the guest house we've got, that's one. The Winter Garden. I'm not sure what to do with you yet. I guess you would also maybe cram into there. Maybe this is one and we just like... Could try and then one, two, then drive up for three. And then... Four... Workshop garage. This guy. I mean, this one seems fairly straightforward as well. The Krug gang tag. Kinda? Ish? Eh. Uh. I see. You can totally jump out of moving vehicles and have them continue on their own, just need to be moving fast enough. Okay. I, I did- I was going pretty slow. But it just like, stopped the vehicle immediately, so I thought, eh, okay, I guess that's not a thing. There's no alarm on this guy, though, so it's just kind of... Take it. I just don't have a way to move it, really. Um, well, I... I do... Technically... Need to get a bed. I can raise it and just, like, lower it then on. Kinda. Sorta, because it like sort of drops itself down. Let's get a heavy vehicle for it. I'd like to think one of the tools that I get at some point is like a fucking rope so I can tie objects together. Because that'd be fun. While it's on my mind, let's get these moved out of the way too. You guys are oh, okay. 
I thought they were I thought they were bolted to the road. Serious construction. Yeah. Okay, that that disables it. I wonder who was here. I suppose spraying my gang tag. Spraying my gang tag. Gang tag's not the best idea. That's fine. Maybe we try turning on a level surface. I think some of the spray paint blood through the wall there. I'm not sure what's going to happen here. It seems happy. Nah. Nah, we'll play it safe. Too tall. Okay, cool. That works. Ah! That's fine. Scoot it forward a little. Forward a little. Damn it. Let's just go backwards. Go. Get ocean dumped, you fucking thing. Get out of here. I will inchworm my way over to you. Don't think I won't. Come here. Oof, that vehicle condition. <laughs> what happened here? <laughs> Jesus. Can you help me? Backwards! Backwards! All right, what am I watched on? What is this? What are you? Why are you? Are you part of the vehicle? That is. I think that might be too. That's, that's watched in there pretty good, huh?
Okay, one more car. I, I just need one more car over here. We'll fix the whole lot of them. <laughs> Son of a bitch. You there. <laughs> Problem solving with Yeti. Never ceases to amaze. For better or worse. Shit. Fucking thing. Yeah, man. Yeah. If this fucking car wasn't on top of it. Hold on. Truck again. The inchworm strat. It was working. It was a good one. Oh, we're so close to... We're so close to it. Wait, I have an idea. I'll try shooting it. One done. Um, all right, we're ending with you. I need to clear some of this out, though. Just some of the larger clutter of debris here. Can I use you as a broom? No. Not. Not really. Just get stuck on things. Imagine coming home to this. Like what? What the hell? <laughs> uh, what happened? That was our cool ramp idea. That that didn't work. Oh yeah, I still got this guy. It doesn't really help me at all. Uh, currently, I don't. I'm still not sure what to do with you. But... 
<laughs> yeah, tornado. Yeah, really local tornado. Oof. Let's, uh... Let's go for it and see where the plan falls apart? Question mark. Clean this mess up first. My face pumped so hard. I don't know if you heard it. <laughs> Absolutely face pumped. Hey, jewelry box. Nice. All right, cool. That's one. Mm. <laughs> it was supposed to dump in here. We'll just pretend. That's two. Well, technically three. Come here. That didn't count! And also that one's stuck now. Holy shit. It went too quick into the pool. And why are you stuck? Get over there! Hi, helicopter! I'm out of ammo! When did I run out of ammo? Wasn't I starting with the blue car? No? This is marked... This is marked one. The idea was that I go backwards into the, the pond here. I dump it, and then I dump this guy, and then I drive over to that, into the kiddie pool. Drive through, garage, out. Basically to extraction. They just... They got all this shit here. I gotta get rid of though. Ugh. So much of it, though. Maybe, maybe a broom for a tool. You're definitely stuck. Yeah, that's that's definitely stuck. I think the order's good. We just yeah, I got it. Do a little tidying up, though. I ain't got the one shot left. Damn. Low torch. Not very effective against that. Oh, yeah, the greenhouse car. Right, shit. I'm missing that one still. Uh. Right. Yeah, we were thinking about driving that off. Well, yeah. I could probably just go straight off and then in for one. Especially... Because I don't know if both of those can fit in that little pond. Yeah, you're right. That that should be the first one. But we're still approaching this one from this angle, so this still needs to be done. What even are you? Grab another explosive canister. How did I get so many cars stuck? It's a special talent of mine. Volleys, arcing shots, that kind of trajectory, and just general horrendously, appallingly bad driving. These are my special powers. All 
Uh, that didn't help at all. Great. Okay, if I just straight up reverse out, it's fine. Wait, fine-ish. What happened to the ass of the car? Oh, jeez. Alright. We'll see about that. I might have to just, like... Get this guy out of here. And just... <laughs> just drive... Drive through somehow. Because if you're coming straight through, we need you to just... Yeah, really just straight on through. Get rid of this crap. Get rid of this light. Just right on through. Uh, we dunk it. And then run into vehicle one, or do we dump that? I think we just dumped that out front too. And then we can use the truck to get round to the backyard. Oh, cool elevator. Well, this, this truck's got some get up and go to it, too. Oh my god, I'm so used to driving the poopy vehicles. This thing's nuts. Um, probably out like that. So you're just going straight this away. Good luck with the ramp. That tree needs to move. You'll probably land on the tree down there and let actually go anywhere near where I'd like you to. Probably okay, though. Scoot that out of the way. Hmm. It's better going around this way. Fire alert! Yo, come on, outdoor fire alarms, what? Relax. Jeez, it's just a tree on fire, come on. Get real. So we're gonna actually cross that out. We're not going that way. We're gonna S bend this way. Right off. Yeah. Not not that. <laughs> Don't. Don't go into the grass. The grass is bad news, because I'm pretty sure we're not making it up that hill with that. So then off, and then get in you. And drive you off. And then we get over to the truck. We drive you... Into the back. Curious if I can just blow it off with a shotgun. There's a remote disconnection via shotgun. I was wondering what the shotgun's good for, but like, here I am finding all these solutions. I mean, how's that for a quick disconnect? 
Damn. Drive, get out. Lamb. What? All right. It's so grippy. So never mind. Maybe with like a much stronger uh, angle, that would work. All right. Uh, hold up the truck. I'll skew you a little bit. How? Oh, God. Scoot it just a little bit. I just want to, like, inch it over. <laughs> yeah, like that, basically. There, so it's out of the way, because I don't know what I'm doing with the truck exactly. That's... That's going to be an experience. All right. So now let's see where the plan falls apart. Kind of a fun game. It's nice. I especially like being able to just like problem solve my own stupid way. It's just, it's totally fine. It's whatever. It doesn't matter. Here we go. Quick save. So we're starting with this guy then. Kia! Whoosh. And then into you. Whoosh. And then into the truck. And then into you. And then into the yellow car. Yeah. Everything fucking move. Shut. <laughs> Slam on the brakes. And we pretend we parked here. Because then we can drive through. And get the... Uh... Who was next? Yeah, this guy, right? I think the guy in there. I wonder if there's a faster way in there rather than going all the way out and around, because driving through those big double doors there... Uh, the one time it got stuck doing that, so maybe I, like, drive around... Back out this... yeah, that's much better. Look how cool that is! Yeah, we can do that. Okay. That was a bit odd. No, not that. Oh, balls. Oh, it's terrible. Run ruined. That's a tough turn to make there. Shit. <laughs> uh. 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 Yeah, I think that could work. I mean, with a little less, like, dog shit. I wonder if we could maybe... Uh... Just fucking ram your ass into something here and get a different vehicle for this little jog? Like a unicycle? Maybe. I think they got that somewhere. A unicycle? What I ought to do is free the 
free the car that I've got embedded in the wall over here. Yeah, because that, that car might work. Okay. this then I, I gotta keep it like kind of intact which is terrifying Ooh. kinda it's not exactly what I wanted You think there might be some by the racetrack? Boy, well, I hope so, because this thing is not going to get out of this very cleanly at all. Oh, ho, ho, look at me go. Man. Car Rescue Simulator 22. That's me. Look at this condition. Who needs an oil pan, really? Just rip this thing off. I need you again. Just give me a little, a little slap. Slap that ass. Just a little bit, not too rough. It's no longer. Oh Jesus. I mean, it's more lightweight now, right? Oh, God, how the hell is it all so stuck on me? Okay. Oof, it sounds angry now. <gasps> There's still this guy! Oh, that guy! Hi, that guy! Yo! Alright, whoa. <laughs> okay, we don't have it for long if I'm not careful. <laughs> I swear I'm not doing this on purpose. It, it really is just that special of a skill that I've got. Dunk it, and then you can just go forward. I don't know who you guys are or what you want, but you can hang out over there. And just in case you feel like going too far, or putting in some stops, this will totally stop a racing vehicle from overshooting the pond. And this is a pond now. Right. Okay. Should probably open this door and give it another save and try this again. Out. And that I turn that to the right as I leave the garage. Be nice. 
nice to the new guy. <sighs> okay. An anonymous. Oh, my God. oh geez, it's loopy. I forgot to fix that. It'll be over in a moment. A recruit. Be nice to the new guy. <laughs> uh, anonymous Gifter gifting five tier one subs. Gone to Marine for their first month. Dr. Plamour for their first month. No, ten month. No, first month. No, second month for you. Sorry. The order is different here. Harfley, first month. Zarfax, first month. And Alyssa Lay, tenth month. Thank you very much. How do you spell race car backwards? It's a palindrome. It's spelled the same way. All right. Let's go. That almost took me with it, man. That counts. <sighs> car swap into a car swap into a car swap into a car swap. Fuck. Forgot I gotta do this little run. <sighs> then I don't think we'll have time. Ugh. This is exhausting. Ugh. Yeah, no. Ugh. And then that's the final swap to get me into the escape vehicle, but I was like nine sec. <laughs> Thanks, game. God damn it. <laughs> like nine seconds too slow. Uh. Hmm. This journey sucks to do. Yeah, no, I just get stuck there. Okay. Thought I'd try. I just had a revelation. We cleaned up the mess. I can reverse out of there. I think I can reverse out of there anyway. Oh, shit. All right, it just completely just destroys and shreds the car. Ugh. But that saves me a little bit of a little bit of drama. Fuck. <laughs> okay, let's try again. I th I think I just don't like that car that I've got there. <laughs> I think that might just be a bad car for that part. Ugh. Stop bringing me with you. Okay, that's what's shredding my car. All right. It's that very last part. All right. So we can clean that up a little bit, I think. Open the wall of the Cadillac to get in with the car. Walk less as possible. 
gotta be more specific on Cadillac. Yeah, this is this is a mess here. We are we able to get you up here for a little bit of Clean a Rooney. Red car in the garage. Yeah. Let's see how much time we got to save first before I do like any any more major deconstruction. So slow. Yeah, I'm with you on that. That showroom car, that last one there, opening up the wall so I can just drive in. I, I think I'm with you on that one, but we'll see how much more time I got to shave off here. Why are you so stubborn? Why are you doing this to me? There you go. Get this little bit too. Okay. Oh. It just poofed so much of it for me. That's nice. That should be... a bit easier for it to get out. Because, yeah, it's just the, the back end of it was shredded, and I think that's where it's... I think it's a rear-wheel drive thing, so it's just complete ass. Ugh. Get these out of here too a bit. So let's... Give this a quick try. A bit better. It's still... It's still slow to reverse, this guy. I wonder if we can spin it quick. Alright. Calm down. <laughs> God, this thing just wants to go. <laughs> Okay. There. Ah. Jesus, that's one you just leave in second gear, I think. <laughs> oh my god. 
You just you touch the pedal and it's like, all right, I'm 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 way too quick to drive now. <laughs> but okay. Uh so drive this across, dunk it, drive you straight into the pool, dunk it, get into this guy, dunk it. This yellow shit thing. I'm I'm not convinced this is an alright vehicle for this part. I might I think I switch you with the truck quick. Cause I think the truck's maybe somehow better. Uh, that works. What's that? Get out of here! All right. It's a lot of moving for the explosives. If I was going to blow up that wall, there's probably some more stuff I can use to blow that open if I need to. And then, yeah, we can just drive through then. That'll save me, uh, uh, one and a half seconds, I think, maybe. Yeah, don't take me with. Could save a couple seconds there if I don't have to run. Uh, oh right, shit. I forgot. We're driving that over to this guy. Uh. <clears throat> I do love just flattening it against the wall though. <laughs> uh. Yes. <laughs> All right. With one and a half seconds left. Man. <laughs> I want to see this line just fucking stop against a wall. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, that I should have driven. Is this how they teach you to drive in Kentucky? Illinois, actually. I transferred my license to Kentucky. Uh, bam! <laughs> oh, that left quite the crater there. <laughs> uh, nice. Thank you, Ecliptics. Tier 1. 43 months. How you doing today? So many car swaps. Holy shit. It took me just over an hour to do that. That was that was fun though. That's it's nice being able to just set it up for yourself and just going the best you can. Trespasser and Breaker. Two new tools I got. Wow. There's just like more and more crap over here. Yeah. I got the whoops achievement. I destroyed 1,000 voxels. What'd I get? 
planks. Yo! That won't work for me at all, but sure, cool. Primitive ramps. Also attach objects with planks to lift or drag heavy items. Attach objects with planks? I'm so confused. What? Alright, it's a magic stick. Alright, well, I mean, I was asking for a rope type thing. So that, this is, this is kind of what I was wanting to get, so I could sort of connect things and tow them. I'm alright with this. Scoot. Scoot, come on, get out of here. Fascinating. Huh. Okay. And what's this? A uh, pipe bomb. I like how there's no tutorial on the pipe bomb. You know what this is. Ah! It doesn't one-shot myself. Nice! Man, I got... Oh my god, my emails. I got, like, no money that mission, though, because I don't think I found any secret side stuff at all whatsoever. Links. Up the width, up the max length. I want more width, for sure. And plus eight voxels to max length. Or eight more planks. Alright, maybe. Maybe. What do we got from messages? Oh, right. We had a uh, Parisa. Another thing came to mind. Since the computers didn't include any details on Black Temple, maybe there are documents in his safes that could bring some clarity. You already have done a lot for me, but if you have the time and energy to go get them, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, all right, sure, it's a side mission. Let's do it. Lee Chemicals. Hello, Eonek. How's it going? Very excited to see what machinery of torment yet he can build with planks, a shotgun, and a hammer. Well, certainly something that'll kill me. Definitely that. Primarily, we need the safe. There's also a secondary safe. Factory key cabinet. Storage key cabinet. And the switch gear station. Trees are weird. Yeah. 
saw that. Hidden cash worth a hundred bucks. There's fire alarms here, right? Yeah. Stupid fire alarms. Just some building. Operation clear. Ah, 200 bucks. That's one of the safes. Okay, whoops. Jesus. <laughs> um, right. We could do what I had done before where we drop it through the ceiling. Um, gonna take a lot of work to get that to happen, though. So maybe we just, like... Carry the safe, like, keep it propped up the safe for now, and when it comes time to, like, initiate this, we can drop it down and just, like, drive it over. To presumably just the water here where we'll have the boat waiting. But we need to also get a second safe. That's the main safe. The second safe... ...is next door? Aha. Ah, <laughs> it's bolted in. That's a nice touch. It's nice that I can, like, actually take apart the hinges though that's that's neat it's a neat thing they got going on with this it scratches that kind of itch that i got from uh, a hard space ship breaker hard ship break space hard hard space the ship breaker oh. uh, sorry it's a confusing name damn uh. Criminal construction. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Club Prism? Good morning to ya. I'm sure that's gonna be locked one day. Um, hmm. This is like, I could... I could do a plank ramp thing and just like... 
use the planks to create a ramp and just let gravity have it slide down. I guess all I gotta do is just disconnect it and it could just like down the ramp into the vehicle or something. <laughs> Think I'm overthinking it. I think, I think, I think. Ouch. And then all of the... Man, that one's far off. Looks like we do some parkour to get into that one, though. If I can get... Probably storage first, and then factory. Although this is upstairs, that's downstairs. But then we can... Maybe from factory get up to the roof. Up here somehow. Yeah, it's still locked. Aha! A $60 microscope. Not much else in here. Okay. But maybe up to the ceiling. Or rather, the roof. even notice there is a fire. I was too distracted by me putting the plank down wrong because I forgot I got to click and drag and not just click. <laughs> well, that's fine. I reckon this could also be handy for grabbing up the safes. It's just, uh, I can't grab both safes. There's the trouble with that. Too sure. There's safe number one. Let's just start at the rooftops, how about? Because it seems to me this is a fairly convenient way. Okay. Takes a, a little bit of doing. But it is a way to get over to here, where there was another... Oh, that's the next building, even. It's this guy. Holy crap. Okay. We need a vehicle for sure over here.
Kind. What the? There we go. What if I took the safe along with the alarm and a piece of wall? The alarm still goes off. I did try that. Twenty six twenty six shots left. So I'd like to just grab the box from above, but if I do end up falling on accident, I still have a way through and out to here, where I would like to have some vehicle. Makes you so special, a wooden door that's locked. What, what gives you the right? Alright, so that's, that's nothing. Was there anything over here? Just that guy. So how are we getting those, then, across the way? It's not a fast vehicle. Seeing a whole lot for vehicles over here. That's the es that's the escape vehicle. I can't move that. Assuming that's out of bounds over there. But there are cars there. Ooh. Look at us! Ooh, it's even unlocked. Agent B4 comic collection. <laughs> I'm gonna take a poop so long, I'm gonna read through all of this manga. Alright, dude. I mean, really, that should shut off the alarms. I, like, just unpowered the entire fucking city.
Would you? Not quite so high, damn it. Great, I'm out of pipe bombs now. Good going. Yeah. Seems like it should be a bigger problem than it actually is. Steal the entire place, a chunk of ground too, so it won't fall apart on the transport. Just airlift the whole city out of here. We don't need that wing mirror. I didn't think that far ahead. How do I get you over there? Ford the river. I think I need to make a bridge. And I don't think you're tall enough. Then we cut this side. A bit higher. Probably needs to be even higher than that. Uh. Eh? What? You are killing me right now. I am dead. Oops, that's not the shotgun. Eh? <laughs> Alright, you. <laughs> Look, man. Uh, it's odd. It's a weird thing. Hey, I have coffee. It's a weird thing. I don't understand it sometimes. Ah. Coffee. I don't think the wire tension's doing it. Because it wasn't tight. I mean, that's going to be... Uh... Zero realities where that works out for me. I'm not sure we're getting these over there. I don't think taking the power out does anything, unfortunately. Eh. 
Man, you really throw these weird. Double tap! There, no more wire. Wire's gone. Little torch you at the base. Little torch you a bit higher up. Get rid of the metal bits. Nobody needs those. Nobody cares. Probably doesn't matter. Get you guys higher up. Yeah, he's got ideas again. Everybody stand back. I'm not sure what'll happen. Hey, you made the click sound. <laughs> click, damn it. <laughs> So now, we, uh, give it a couple shoves. It's gonna just break when I tap it though, right? Yeah, it just, just completely shatters when I tap it. Ah, get up there. So, <laughs> there's got to be a different car, right? Like, come on, right? Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm turned around. We don't need an escape vehicle. We can grab that and just jump over. Why do you people watch me? Real question. <laughs> Surely there's better people to watch, right? <laughs> uh, right, so you just, uh... The big thing is the safes, which I got this for. I just don't know how to get both into it... ...at once. Nah, killing the pie. I don't think killing the pie is that. It's just a fun explosive thing. Uh...
Because what I'm thinking is the one safe I could just drop right in. The second safe... Like, I'm not sure... Like, I could use this to, like, have the floor broken and the safe is already sitting in the safe and sound and I just drop this. Uh, that'll disconnect and I can drive off with it, but, like... I can't do that with both safes at the same time. And I said, did some sort of really f fucked thing where I have like this dumpster or something uh, hooked up via plank. And I, I drop one safe into this and I just tow this around. But I think the safe is going to be so heavy it's going to break the floor and just rip its way out as I drive. Uh, so I, I don't, I don't think that'll, I don't think that'll work. I don't think our space tape strat's gonna work out for that. Um. Where are we going with these safes again? Out. So what I might do is I might start with these. Start with these. Get these dropped. Drive off, drop off. Snatch this real quick and fuck off. I think. Just how do we do the safe drop? Because the one is like in this corner and this one's in this corner. So they're pretty close and this alleyway is super convenient for it. Move you out of the way quick. Probably also blow that wall open too, so we can just drive forward. Yeah, the the plank as a guide ramp is what I was thinking initially, where I have one just drop straight into the vehicle, and the other one drops and slides along a plank. Um, here, before we get too wild with it, let's quick save. Well, the door's not alarmed, so that's good. That's a wild strat as well. <laughs> Get that off. Come on. Ugh. Brick walls are tough. Like, really tough. What the hell? Where were you exactly? Yeah, just there.
There were explosives in here, right? Because if I remove this bit, I can break the floor and have some planks like ramp into uh, the vehicle here. In my mind, I, I don't know how that'll actually work out. Because I think I need this gone. because I'm absolutely going to get stuck on this thing as I drive out of here. Guaranteed. Okay. Oh man, jumping up is rough sometimes. Like, would it work if I have the plank set? Um, because, like, how do I get the plank, like, floating? I think I need to get rid of... more of this wall. And then just plank... As long as the angle's not too extreme. And free planks on this end. So I might be able to just like kind of slide it down and it just uh, works. <laughs> And then this guy, same deal. Yeah, 
Yeah, that won't be too bad. There's so much just crud inside this now. Yeah, let's go for a quick test and see. Ah, oh, no! Almost. It could be that some of the, uh... Plank's been destroyed by the shotgun blast that I was doing just then. <laughs> I did notice a little bit of, uh... Collateral damage. Oh, interesting. Is that still okay? That just fell right by. <laughs> this looks like something your brother and I would come up with to make your chores e easier. Never really worked out. Man, that's like story of my problem solving. It's okay though. As long as it's at least moderately entertaining. One. Uh, okay. Hey, good luck, Meta Magician. Two hours of meeting sounds incredible. Grats. <laughs> so exciting. Yeah, I think the truck's got to move a little bit too. Straighten it out a little. That's also what I'm thinking. Because sometimes this is just like... And falling right off the edge. And I don't know if the blanks can... Manipulate themselves to... Uh, to work for me with that. But that's it. Wobbling so much. <laughs> Who's fucking in there? Come on, not now. Maybe. this is turning into. Mm. <sighs> Fucking go!
Then I gotta, what, dump these on? Ah, oh, okay, I can just kind of, like, drive on in. All right. Okay. So that makes the drop-off a lot easier then, too, if I don't actually have to dump them in. And then we just have to get the documents, which we're going to start with, or the key things, rather. Uh, one was on the ground, obviously. One's just above. So we can grab that whole ass up here. Is it right on this wall? Where are you exactly, friend? Wait. I'm looking at the wrong one. The light's flashing through the wall. I want the building behind. So we could grab, run up, get all this shit out of the way. Oh my god. What a mess. What even is all this? Out. Jesus Christ, there's so much of it. box? This is like a painting thing. There are a lot of just like... Oh, or this. It's something like that, yeah. A lot of just random decoration, or maybe even this. So we can grab it, run upstairs, jump out. Yeah, I'm free to do as much as I want until I, uh, will start. Um. I can just jump and grab you. We can do that as a backup if I miss my jump. We just, like, jump up and go and get there. But otherwise, I would like to see about doing it the proper way. Watch it. Wee, wee, wee. <laughs> Last shot. Oh! Hopefully it was worth it.
You know, I went about that like all wrong. I could have just made a little opening and just yoink it through the wall. Lol. Oops. And I grab that. And then we run out here. Parkour into the truck, pull the safes in, drive away. We're driving away all the way. Through the gates, which are unlocked and open. Into the drop-off there. And then I guess just another plank up the, uh, up the fence there. I suppose. You could use that shotgun, very helpful tool. Yeah, that makes problems go away. <laughs> One. Two. Aha! Look at us go. And that we just grab from above. And then we fuck off to the escape vehicle. So I think we're ready to give this an honest try. See how it goes. I suspect not very well. But we got the quick save. So we can try it out, see where it all goes wrong, and go from there. What help if I didn't fling myself out the window? So. Ugh. Come on. Ah, you fat thing. Whoa. Alright, so that can happen. I guess watch out for that. <gasps> Boss! <laughs> Try again. Uh, we might have to move the truck a little bit until we get it parked in the right spot. Because it's a little rough knowing how the safes interact with it exactly. But that's okay. But you got wide. Nope, too wide. <sighs> At least it's a fairly fast, quick load. so hard to grab. Come on, leg loose. Jesus. Careful. Easy. They're delicate. Yeti, they're massive safes. Ah, 
Another tree. Ooh. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> I want an achievement for that. Point one second left. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, a little safe dropping minigame kind of sucked. Some remote bombs would be a really cool bullshit thing to have. That'd be great, though. Just like as I'm running by, I have like a an upgradable range. Let's see how long we fucked around with the saves. It's like haul that ass by and then beep beep. And then the saves just drop and we get out of there. Balls! <laughs> ah, man. Good shit. It's such a nice game. I like this a lot. A spectacular break-in at Lee. Lee Chemical suffered another spectacular break-in last night where property was damaged and the perpetrators got away with heavy security equipment, according to the police. What is happening to locale? Do you need locks for your locks nowadays? Says CEO Lawrence Lee Jr. Ta. Ta. No new equipment yet though? That's bullshit. Thanks, now I need to find someone who can work as safe. I'll get back to you in a bit and let you know how it goes. And we still had this business, the next main mission to do. Uh, which I guess we can take a look at, but I don't think I'll actually have time to do it with my current, uh... Phew. My current pace. Steal GPS devices from these boats and get the log files from Harbor Office. Do it. Ah, finishing coffee. Yeah, I figure there's probably a couple secrets in the uh, at the base. I'm not really looking around for secrets too, too hard currently. Okay, so that's... The Boathouse Secondary Target. Not a whole lot I can... ...do with you though, or...? Alright, it seems to be okay with this. Alright. Seems to be happy with that. Which is a little surprising, to be honest. Because usually you can't just, uh, you know... ...commandeer the whole fucking thing. But if we... we could plank. Connect a couple boats together with that. I think the mission timer is always 60 seconds. Unless it states otherwise. I think 60 seconds is the safe assumption to make. This boat... this boat is... this boat is connected. That is... Right. But there's this boat here that's free. I wonder if we can... How many boats can a boat tow? Weird question, I know, but, uh... 
Hear me out. A little bit of plank towing magic. I will need that raised. But not all the way raised, because I might need to get over it. I don't know if that's raised enough. Right, and like this, this is an example, like you can't just lop this off and carry the alarm with. Well, this is just like, this is like really stuck on there, but ordinarily you wouldn't be able to do that anyway. The alarm will go off because it's not connected to anything anymore, like on the level. Um, so I'm a little surprised and not sure how I feel about being able to do that with the other boat. I feel like it, you're meant to be able to do that, and that's the way you do it. By being a smarty pants, but because it's disabled normally, that that's something that you can't do. Uh, it just feels a little bit, uh, kind of dirty that the game allows you to do it here, but not in other cases. I feel like it should just be a hard rule. You just can't do that. And, uh, yeah. Where? Oh. That boat's also got something. It is a- it is a really nice looking game. Also. Like, I don't really mind, uh, like, pixel art and voxel stuff. I don't really mind that at all. I think it usually looks pretty okay. And then, obviously, the post-processing helps a bunch, too. It, the water is, like, oddly high quality. It's kind of weird, but... Dude, like, so easily. And then the question is, can we then also tow this other boat? A Vorion. What was a Vorion? Did I play a Vorion? I want to say it was like a... Like kind of a space engineer style, you're making your own ship. But, like, uh... Something about it was, like, really... Really bad about it. It's difficult figuring out how to get this connected up. I might just tow it just on my side. Because with my plank not centered, it's making backing into this practically impossible. What game was it that I was playing where the first person shooting of it was like horrendous dog shit? And it also had that space rave, because uh, the game was still early access and wasn't completed. So they had, like, that crazy rave going on. Oh, shit. Empyreon. Ah, that might be what I'm thinking of. Yeah, so Avorian, I'm not sure if I ever played that.
Ага. Feel like I want to reinforce that a bit. Let's see how this works. Oh, turning sucks so bad. Turning is kind of impossible. All right. Yeah, I just grabbed the GPS instead of the vehicle, so, like, I should probably just... Yoink, yoink. And go. I thought... Maybe this would go a little bit better. <laughs> but no, we lose... Fucking let me on! We lose all turning capabilities. But there is... Two. At least, though. Right, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it, then you're just not connected. It's fine. You don't have to be anyway. We we brought two of them close by to one another. And frankly, I think that's enough. What else do we have? That's both side objectives. Just there. I guess. Um... So we'd maybe, like, log office. That we can drive around. Because that's hitched up on a boat. It's like maybe a faster boat. Let's see what we can do with that quick. Because I can get a lot of these things clustered together in the same spot. Or like, I might leave that as one pair. Since that one boat's tethered, it has to stay there. So I can leave that as a pair of objectives, and I can move this truck over to the big boat there. So then we have a second pair of objectives. And then I just got to get that oddball one here. But it comes with boats over there. So... I could be alright to, uh... Start with that, and then boat over to a place, pick up the couple objectives, boat to the final place. And then we get out of here. I'm not really sure what order to do all that in. Yeah. That's a very flexible pipe. Nice! Alright, that's- that's unlocked. <laughs> that's a bit out of the way. Whoa, that broke it. Uh, clearance looks probably okay, but just to be safe. There we go. All right, truck. It's up to you. Avorian is definitely a good game. Takes a long time to get or do anything from what you remember. Kind of just go around collecting materials from quests and enemies to sell and build out your ship and eventually collect enough of them to make more ships of different roles. Sounds all right. A lot of those games, though, yeah, it does turn into be um, a lot of work to get anything done. And for me personally, a lot of it often turns into why should I bother going through all of this work? Like, to what end? Which is my entire eyebrow raise towards um, dinosaur game. 
whatever the f that was called. Where it's like, you're getting a dinosaur and taming the dinosaur. Mark, thank you. And you're using that dinosaur to do things, but it's like, wh why though? Because it's a lot of, it's a lot of work getting the dinosaurs. A, a lot of work. Oh, hello, friend. More proper, proper little forklift guy. Nice. Jesus, this truck, though. Uh, that's, that's the, the other objective I was thinking of pairing this with. Let me do this. <sighs> Big machinery. <laughs> I can bring you wherever I want, can I? Can I? We are tethered to a thing, but I don't know if that's a power thing. No, okay, it's just a... Just a quite, quite strong tether. Alright. But, I can fix that. I can free you! Be gone! Yeah. Ooh, there money in there? Forty bucks, huh? Some lube. Premium lube, though. That's the good stuff. You also, you gonna stop me there? All right, dude, how many ropes do you need to tie down your boat? Maybe just park it good, Lear. God damn. Free at last. That's fine. That's all okay. Bilge pump not doing much. A bilge pump might not be on. <laughs> but it is a little a little wet down there. Almost made it. Okay. 
So that's a fairly easy one, two, three. Just yoink. Yoink. <sighs> yoink. And then from here, if I don't have this planked actually, maybe I could like smash this and then just drive you away. Oh no, you didn't drive. That's right. That's right. Um, where is risk extraction? Yeah. Just across the way. An annoying drive. But boat-wise, pretty convenient. I could use one of these boats for that leg of the journey. It fucking like, you can get like damn near every single vehicle. Hold on, let me bring one of these boats from up here because we're just grabbing this and then boating down, grabbing everything else because I can get this. Drop the bridge, drive it up and around. I can get that pulled over here too. <laughs> I can just stab near, just grab this out the back, drive, pick up everything else and boat. This boat's kind of kind of fucked up and also a little bit big. I'm not sure if it's not sure if it's quick enough. But I, I could use that, though. Let me check out the boats that we got up here first. And uh, probably use you as my vehicle. To get down to there. This one seems quite easy. <laughs> But mostly because you're allowed to move everything together. Like, are you, uh... It's a bit shit. <laughs> it works, but... Mm. And then this guy... Winner. Oh my god. All right. So we go down. Grab, grab. Grab. Then a little bit of uh, parkour into you. Okay. At least spending too much on toys, not enough on security. Should be at least like two guards on site here. Man, that'd be a ball ache, wouldn't it? Patrol staff to watch out for while you're moving stuff. What? What? Oh, I can drive a wood chipper? Quick save. There's no, like, uh, there's no go on it. Fishing gear. Oh, 
I already took their register too. Hey, well, Yoink Dad, I took a pair of sunglasses they had. I already took those last time we were doing a mission here. $80 vacuum cleaner. Okay. <laughs> so powerful. Christ. want out this door, right? Yeah. Pipe bomb. Jesus Christ, you really yuck these things out there, huh? Place is rigged with fire alarms, so I can't let fires get too out of hand. I think I already got that before, too. I'm fixing their holes too. Look at me. I'm a repair man. You got a real bad termite problem in here. But it's okay, we'll lay some new planks down. I'll be like they were never there. Alright. Go! Whoa, this thing turns. Uh, I never opened this. Damn it. I was gonna see if I could still grab that and get out, but I didn't open this. It looks like we've got, like, fucking plenty of time, though. Because I forgot to move this entirely. <laughs> so let's quick load. Move that. I gotta drop the bridge for it, but that's fine. We got the escape boat in position already. Love just this piece of shipping he on, on top. <laughs> the hell happened? Never you mind. No! 
Oh, the gate's slow. But hey! Come on. Come on. Quit being a little shit. Let's go. Oh, I'm out of planks. Blast. Come on. Get in there. Get in there. Whoop. It might be taking on a little bit of water, but... Hmm. There. Because then I think it can just grab them both. And then... We can parkour over the gate. That'll be aight. Where's your stuff? Where is it? That's a lot of Abraxo cleaner. Jesus. They got plans. Antique cannonball. And the cash box. Bingo trophy. Wow. <sighs> Crash bang boom kabu. Yeah. <laughs> and <the> smash. <laughs> I love it. It's good. It's fun just breaking shit. Ah, uh, yeah. Thank you, Radio. All right. We'll put that wood chipper there. Easy. Helicopter didn't even arrive. Nice. And that only took 30 minutes in total. And that one wasn't too bad. Again, it was just like you can move everything together pretty much. Nothing was really... Aside from that boat right there. Uh, that's pretty much the only thing that was tied down. So you just cluster it all together and it's, it's fine. Which is okay. If some missions are like that. Not all of them have to be, uh, you know... Pucker your ass and uh, really get going. It's okay to have some that are just... Look around, see what your options are.
Maybe all the missions are like that and I've just been missing it. Totally possible. We're a crook now. We got a new tool. It's a gun! Just... gun. A very nice game those thus far. Um, I like this a lot. I'll probably play more of it tomorrow. Rounds range damage. Small damage on most materials with an entire range. I guess. It's like a sniper rifle. An extra point of damage just in case. So we can shoot stuff from pretty far away with it then. And then uh, upgrade the damage at the pipe bomb a little bit more. Probably get more pipe bombs too at some point. But yeah, this is this is nice. I like this a lot. This is a lot of fun. I like the way that they've done it where you can just kind of fuck around for a little bit. You can also just go in sandbox and not have to worry about anything at all. Um, you can even have in the options, you can enable it so your sandbox mode has all the levels and tools unlocked, so you can really mess around. Next mission is a short one. Could do it before the end. You think so? You can try it. Take a peek. Something about a water tower. That much I saw. Messages. Still don't know how, but Lee found out about the cars and totally overreacted. I just saved the life of those poor cars and he goes completely mental and vandalizes my property. Can you believe that? Good thing I'm properly insured. I've thought about ways to get back at him and finally nailed it. The iconic water tower of Lee Chemicals. His grandfather bought it with his bare hands and since it became a symbol for the entire Lee family. They use it in their logo oh. type. Make it less tall. Unicorn, unicorn in nation. Ass ass a nation, Brian. Thank you, Claude Prism. Yes, ass ass a nation. Unicorn unicorn a nation. <laughs> exactly that. Just a simple demo mission. Ooh. Gates heavy. Holy fuck. All right. Large fires will trigger the alarm. Okay. It's, this thing's 9.6 meters too tall. Can you believe it? I don't believe it. Is this the part that's too tall? This is the part that's about to be too tall. Fuck. I thought it'd be a remote bomb, man. So first things first, this fucking nuclear truck that we've got here, we're going to use this. 
Just drive careful. And the only things supporting this building itself slash connecting it with other buildings is just a stupid metal crap thing. Um, and also I suppose this brace on this side. So like Whoa, did I get stronger? <sighs> Would you? There. Disconnected. No fires going on in there? Alright. Good. Good answer. And these... I can move these? That is incredible news. Please don't mistreat the gas cylinders. Uh... If you close your eyes and don't listen, I promise I won't. But you gotta trust me, okay? Get the door off entirely. Right. Um As awesome as it is pulling these by hand, I think I'd like to uh tie them together and tow them across. Just, uh, wiggle and shimmy it across. May only need one of them? Yeah, but there's two here. Thought maybe there'd be a third. Nah, but there is this. Yes, this is a terrible enough idea to try. Let's go! Oh, I thought I could drive that. Squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> out. That's fine. Wires aren't physical, thankfully. What is wrong with you? Give it up. Outrageous.
Yeah, all right, that's a little too much to ask for. We'll dismantle you. Like so. <laughs> Moving on. I think I want to load this one on the truck. The other one we can try to move with just this. I'll just keep pushing and shoving. <laughs> Fuck man, it only just touched it! So towing them is absolutely out of the question. That's not happening. <laughs> I'm surprised I can even kind of drag it along the ground like this. Man. My plans. Out of the way, Bush. This would have been a quick mission. Yeah, it would have been. It would have been over like 10 times by now, but like... You know, things happened. Problems occurred. Through no fault of my own, unforeseen circumstances. Look, I'm doing my best, okay? God. And, uh... Boy, they're really attached in there, huh? Whoops. <clears throat> I'm getting old. I can't move so fast. When? God. Question, if I paint my high-pressure argon tanks red, will they then be combustible explosive argon tank? Yes. Yeah, do not paint them red. They will explode. Red paint, extremely combustible. It's, this is known. I wouldn't risk it. But thank you, Rayo. Ooh, hi, friend. Why are you locked up? We'll try just blowing it up. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. It's fine. Gotta level this whole goddamn building.
Hä? Äh? Äh. I've seen these things tow an airplane. Come on. Don't give me that shit. Actually, you know what? We just gotta go up higher. Yeti, that's not the solution. No, you stop. This is the this is the solution. This will work. How do I get up more? It's my helicopter. Oh, hey, this opens. I had no idea. Shit out of here. Just in case. Balls. <sighs> this is a tough one, Rogue. Freedom! Ethia, you think I should get rid of this building? Like, it's it seems to be holding it up. I kind of agree with this. All right. 
right, let's uh, zoom it out a bit here. It's that walkway for one. anything right, walkways out of there now it's just this dude's roof they take out some more of the support on this side Don't you dare flip. Damn. That was tough. That was really tough. Yeah, we can just go. Oh, hey, more explosives. Yeah, it would be kind of cool if it kept like a running total of uh, how much damage you cause, like monetary wise, if every voxel had sort of a, a dollar value to it. How could this have happened? <laughs> uh, what a mess. It's a... Uh... <clears throat> Not the best job ever, I'll admit. But hey, Teardown! Man, really fun. I'm playing this tomorrow for sure. This is nice. Very, very nice. Highly recommend. I don't think it was very much either. It was like... I think it was another one that was like 10 bucks. Can I open my eyes now? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, we did it without using those tanks at all, like you asked. Yeah, I did it just with a sledgehammer. Um, yeah, easy. Okay, 20 bucks. It was 20 bucks. But still, though, like, I think it's still worth 20 bucks. <laughs>